Hey guys, Jenna here from Main and Such and Such and Be Scented. I am making cherry citrus. I did a poll in my Facebook group where I sell uh, my soaps, and uh, this was in the top four. So I am making cherry citrus soap, and I only have three available five pound molds, so I'm going to use two of these two pound molds and then if there's anything left over um, I'm not quite sure um, I should have a little bit of soap left over and if I do I'll just pile it on top or maybe pipe a little bit I'm not sure we'll have to I'll have to see how much soap I have left over because if it's not enough to like pipe on both um, then I'll probably just divide it up and pile it on top <clears throat> to make you know a little bit bigger bars of soap so because I've already I have five um, five pound molds but um, two of them are full already with some custom orders and I have three of my right three left and I'm making four batches today so I was like you know what I'll just use two of my two pound molds and whatever's left we'll just stick it on top so that's my plans. Now, color wise, I think I'm gonna do um, the base yellow, like a yellow soap, and white, and Athena quit. Now I have a white that I wanna test. Let me see if I can't find it. Um, it's, it's a it's not titanium dioxide. Um, it's a mica. Mm, I can find it. Yeah, right here. I'll do some white, and then I think I'm going to do. I'm going to do some purple and some green. I want this a bright soap. And I think orange. Those are pretty, aren't they? Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I haven't made this soap in a while. And then, of course, you know, our white color. Now, how white will it be? I don't know because it's a mica. It's not a whitener like titanium dioxide is. me. Alright. Let's get our coconut milk in there. Athena! Alright. Hold on, guys. Alright. Sorry about that. So I just added milk. I don't really have to stick blend it because we're going to be doing lots of stick blending. I need four little containers and right here is two that were in my dishwasher from the last batch. Here's two more. Alright. I'll add the fragrance in when I get colors done. Right. 
Now, so those are my four colors. This is going to be yellow. Right, I think I want to tone it down. That's better. Get the side scrape down into here. Now, it looks like a lot. It probably is. <laughs> but I want to see if it actually will make the soap white. Now, this is a neon green, so I really don't need too much. It's a neon purple and a neon orange. Okay. I'm gonna try not to poof it everywhere. not too bad. See, you can see the difference. Oh, maybe. Right here, you can see the difference. Not bad. Now it's not whitening like uh, titanium dioxide, obviously, but I think it did a pretty good job. I mean, it's not yellow. It's an off-white. Not bad. Just gonna hand stir these. I have not decided what kind of super roll I'm doing. I think I'm gonna pour this in here or as much of it as I can. Just to make my life easier pouring it into the molds. And then, you know, I'll add the rest. Let's head to orange. I'm missing my gloves right now. Oh, 
last one. Now, soap molds. I think I'm going to pour and then do like a chopstick swirl. I think they're so pretty. Get the rest of this in here. Telling you, she's a crazy dog. I think it's going to work out just fine. I thought it would, but you know, you never know. All right, I'm using my fingers. I'll just wipe it off. Can't wait to see the inside of this. This is going to be pretty. Alright, this has got to get out of my way.
You guys probably know what I'm doing. <laughs> No rhyme, no reason. It's just doesn't matter if they get on top of each other. I'm okay with that. The last one. Take our chopstick after I clean up my horrendous mess. Definitely got to have some glitter on this soap. It's loud. I haven't made a loud soap in a long time. <laughs> and I think we're gonna do a little bit of this orangey color. All right, guys, I'll bring you back for the cutting. Hey, guys, we are back to cut the cherry citrus soap. I'm really, really excited to cut this one and see how we do. <gasps> Ooh, it really gelled. Oh, how pretty. And look how pretty that white is. Because I used that white mica. You guys see that? It's really pretty. I love the swirl. And I'm really digging that white. So oh, pretty. We got us a heart. I'm liking this with the yellow base. Oh, so gorgeous. Haven't made a soap with this many colors. Oh, that one really showcases the white. It did really good and it's sparkly. Let's see if I can't get it to focus. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it's gorgeous. Now, yeah, I did use a lot of it, but it is a mica. That right there is perfectly a one inch bar. <laughs> Not sure if I want to cut it. I think I'm going to do in slices on this one so I can get um, samples. How pretty! Oh, 
Oh, I'm so, so pleased with this soap. I was really excited to cut it too. There's just another heart. See it? Oh, wow. I am like totally digging this soap. I mean, it's gorgeous. I hope I can get good photos of it. Perfect. Alright guys, thanks for watching.